Welcome to this video. Today, we will familiarize ourselves with trigonometry, which is an important branch of mathematics. Let us now discuss some situations. Raju is flying a kite in a field near his house. Can you tell how high the kite is from the ground? Sangeeta and her friends want to know the height of the mountain before climbing the mountain. Can they do that? Standing on the banks of the river, Meena is watching the crows sitting on the electric wire on the other side of the river. Can you find the distance between the crow and Meena? In many such situations, we find ourselves unable to find the height and distance. But it is not that these heights or distances cannot be found. These can be found with the help of a mathematical technique which is a branch of mathematics called trigonometry. The word trigonometry originated from the three Greek words tri, gon and metron. In which tri means three, gon means side and metron means measure. In fact, in trigonometry, we study the relation between the sides and angles of a triangle. Let us now consider this right angle triangle. In which angle B is right angle and angle A and angle C are acute angles. Which side is hypotenuse in this triangle? We know that in a right angle triangle, the opposite side of the right angle is hypotenuse. In the same way, can you tell the opposite side and the adjacent side of the angle C? Well done! If the opposite side is AB and the adjacent side is BC, then can we say that with respect to angle C, the hypotenuse is AC. The opposite side is AB and the adjacent side is CB. So, in this video, we will understand and learn the relationship between the sides and angles of a right angle triangle. How many ratios can be found if you calculate different combinations of ratios between the three sides of a triangle? Let's see. Now, if we write the ratio between the given sides, then we get these six ratios. Now, if we study the obtained ratios with respect to the angle C, we get these six trigonometric ratios, which we call sine of angle C, cosine of angle C, tangent of angle C, cosecant of angle C, secant of angle C and cotangent of angle C respectively. And in short forms, we show these with sin C, cos C, tan C, cosec C, sec C and cot C. These are known as trigonometric ratios of angle C. In an easier way, you can remember these trigonometric ratios like SOH, CAH, TOA, which we can write like this. Wherein SOH, S means sign, O means opposite side, and H means hypotenuse. That is, the sign of any angle is the ratio of its opposite side to the hypotenuse. In CAH, C means cos, A means adjacent side and H means hypotenuse. And in TOA, T means tan, O means opposite side and A means adjacent side. 
With the help of these three trigonometric ratios, you can also find the values of cosec, sec and cot. Here, cosec is the inverse of the sine, that is, the ratio of the hypotenuse and the opposite side. Similarly, sec is the inverse of cos and cot is the inverse of tan. Can you now write trigonometric ratios for angle A? Yes, the trigonometric ratios with respect to angle A will be as follows. You can see here that the opposite and adjacent sides change for angle A and angle C. If the names of the angles were not written with them, then it would be difficult to understand which ratio is written for which angle. Can you find all trigonometric ratios for angle phi in triangle PQR? Try to solve the question. We will discuss it in the next video. Today in this video, we introduced trigonometry and also we understood and learned trigonometric ratios. In the next video, we will see interesting examples based on this.